I felt like I was really able to communicate with Joe, who was training us. We were really able to interact with him and you know, he was happy to stop the training and go through with us again if we missed something or he was really accommodating for us. The training videos were all recorded. They're chopped up into segments um, with titles and we're given a directory. So if at any point in time we're now working in Revit, moving on from the training and we're a bit stuck or we don't know what to do, um, it's so easy for us to go back into the training videos and look up exactly at what point during the video Joe covered the stuff that he did. As a graduate architect, I am fairly new to the field working as a professional. We are going through a time where programs and computer programs are much more used these days than perhaps um, 10, 20 years ago when other people went through uni. Joe really made lots of references to some of the programs I used at uni, other programs, I used a lot of programs like Rhino, CAD, SketchUp, and all of these. And I felt like he really helped make a connection between the other programs I might have used and the program that we were learning to use. He also went through all stages of the documenting process, which is really helpful um, as a graduate to understand because we do a lot of documenting. Joe wasn't just teaching us the program, or oh, you click this button, you click this button. He knew about drafting, architecture, the terms that we use. It felt more professional and it felt really tailored to what we needed as architects. It really showed us all of the things that Revit was capable of. Compared to AutoCAD, it tells you when things are clashing in you know, the way it's actually built in real life. It just makes you think differently in the efficiencies of documenting and we could be doing things a lot faster, a lot more accurate. So if you change one thing in one plan, Revit will automatically update it in all the drawings where you see it. He sort of started at the basics where we might open a file, start the, the project, and then he slowly transitioned almost like a natural way through the stages. So you'd start the building, then you might set up these documents, then you might do this detailing. And that was really useful um, as a graduate to sort of visualise how I might then take that into working, um, doing real life projects and sort of take that almost um, framework of start to end of a documentation in Revit and apply it to the jobs that we're now setting up in Revit too. We can start to visualise and look at a building in 3D as it's progressing and how it's building and how it looks um, in real time rather than sort of doing all this 2D documenting and then we used to then model afterwards in 3D and SketchUp um, and then you might realise that something isn't working or it doesn't look right and by then you're weeks into documentation and so I think it's really um, changed the way that we think about how we design and the process and we can sort of work in real time between our 2D drawings in Revit and our 3D model in Revit because they're directly correlated.